Storyboards are a graphical tool used for illustrating the look and navigation of a system. Now, we need to understand that storyboards are a graphical tool used for illustrating systems that contain multiple interfaces, so basically multiple screens which the users access. Storyboards are used to show the layout of these different interfaces of the information system, as well as display the navigation tools that allows the interfaces to be connected to one another. So these uh, tools may be navigation buttons, they may be hyperlinks or other media that when clicked on, take the user to another screen and the storyboard using arrows and square boxes illustrates the flow of where the button takes the user once clicked on. A variety of layouts may be used to display storyboards, which include formats such as linear, hierarchical, nonlinear, and combination layouts. Storyboards are commonly used to plan movies, websites, and programs, so the project teams have an understanding of how the look and the feel of the software they are creating needs to be, and also ensure that each interface within the program is consistent and obviously upholds this feel that they're going for. So when we do design a storyboard, we need to obviously be aware of color schemes, fonts, um, layouts, placement of navigation buttons, uh, where there is white open space and making a balance between the media types on each interface. So we're going to have a look at an example of a storyboard on this next slide. So we're looking at a storyboard for a website. Now we said that there's many different layouts there storyboards can be. A website layout is traditionally a hierarchical layout where we have the home page at the top and then it breaks down into its sub pages underneath. So here is the opening page of my website titled index html and for anyone who's done web design that's usually what we name our home page. This whole website's about food and nutrition. You can see I've got some navigation buttons going across the top. Okay and then other points of media are also highlighted. So my heading is a heading one and it's aerial bold. The background color is going to be white. I can see that there's body text there and we detail what that body text is going to be. And we can also see there's a video introducing uh, people to my homepage and my nutrition website and what it's going to be about. From here then we start to say what the navigation buttons do. So when you click on carbs it takes to a sub page called carbohydrates.html which is a page all about carbohydrates. We break down what happens on this page and here we can see that I'm highlighting what the text on this page is going to be. Now I haven't written the text on the actual page, I've just used lines to represent it because this is a designing tool helping me plan my website but also by describing what the headings are going to be. I can ensure that it's consistent with what's going on on my home page as well. The next page we look at is a subpage on proteins. Once again, you can see the navigation button being linked directly to what page it's going to display. So the proteins page, once again, has body text that is consistent with the other pages, as well as a slideshow that's been put into the middle to differentiate it from the other pages. The third page is about vitamins and minerals, okay, and we can see here that it's laid out differently. The heading style being heading 2 is consistent with previous pages, but now we can also see that it's incorporating rollover images on this page, which is highlighted through my descriptions. And then finally, a page on fats, okay, and here we've got a table, okay, outlining the different types of fats. Left column has images, and then the right column having descriptions. So I hope this actual sample is giving you an understanding of the benefits of storyboards in illustrating and planning out our different types of software and information systems. Here we have a hierarchical layout where we can see our home page and basically when we click on different navigation buttons in the lower row we can see what the pages look like that come as sub pages for this website. We are looking for consistency within design elements in planning out our website and ensuring that we're planning a really cohesive website that has a good feel representing what we're going for.